What is up guys, Thaddeus here. In today's video, I'm actually been going over something a little bit different. Um, not necessarily, you know, e-commerce or business related, but for the people that are trying to, you know, grow their personal brand, grow their, I guess, the, you know, their business brand, um, whatever it is, and not, you know, use what all these other people are saying on Instagram, like, oh, use the algorithm, get organic followers, stuff like that. And, you know, you can do that, but this video is gonna be talking about, you know, paid ads and trying to use that to gain followers and kind of my results with that and showing you guys the back end of that so you guys can kind of replicate and do the same thing. Now, basically what I was doing, okay, just to give you guys an overview before we hop into the laptop screen here, is I wanted to figure out a way to gain organic Instagram followers, right, um, and pay as little as possible, but not go the typical route of like buying a shout out from an influencer or trying to use the algorithm or, you know, doing anything like that. Um, because, you know, if, for instance, if you're new to this channel, right, I own e-commerce businesses, I own softwares, I own SaaS companies, um, you know, social media marketing companies. It's like I do marketing for a living. That's what I do. And so I wanted to basically apply that to my personal brand on Instagram and see what we could kind of get done there, okay, if that, that sort of makes sense. Now, to kind of go over that now, right, is basically what I decided to do was I was going to run Instagram story ads, okay? So, you know, the ads you see when you're on someone like watching, like swiping through people's stories, okay? I was running an Instagram story ad to try and gain followers. Now, because my personal brand is very, um, you know, angled towards sort of like content and business. I get a lot of people um, in the business space that want to like get started with drop shipping or get started with e-commerce. Those are the people that are really interested in my brand and me and those are the people that follow me. I want to target those people. Now, by doing so, okay, you can't, again, just telling someone to follow you isn't going, like, like to me, like, this is my train of thought, right? Telling someone to follow me right off the bat is going to be a lot harder than using some psychology to actually get them to follow me instead. And what, what do I mean by that? So basically when I was running the, the Instagram swipe up ads guys, but basically what I was telling people to do is I was saying, hey, if you wanna get started in e-commerce or dropshipping because that, that's what my brand's about, right? So again, that, 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 that might not be the case with your brand, but that's where you kind of like spin it and put it, push it on something that like whatever your brand is doing, right? But my brand is around e-commerce, you know, drop shipping and content. So my ads were just a video of me, right? Next to my car. And I was just saying, hey, if you guys want to get started with e-commerce or drop shipping, swipe up, okay? Because the swipe up is just going to lead them to my profile, my Instagram profile. All right, I said swipe up and then shoot me a message, shoot me a DM and I'll get you set up, okay? That was literally all I was saying and I'll play the ad here too and then we'll hop in the business manager in a second so I can kind of like break that down and show that to you guys. But again, that's the psychology I was using is I wasn't telling people to follow me, okay? Because that's gonna be a lot more expensive and harder for people just to just be like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna listen to them and follow up. That's not it, you need, to out you need to offer value. Like, there has to be some sort of value exchange in that. So I was telling people, hey, I will help you get started with e-commerce or drop shipping, all right? Just shoot me a DM. Now on Instagram, right, at least as of this date when I'm recording it and when the ads were running, all right, when someone swiped up, they saw my account, um, there's two ways they could either shoot me a message, right, because that's what I was telling them to do, shoot me a message so that they could get started because they want to get started in e-commerce, right? That was the value proposition. Now, they had two ways to message me. Either one was gonna be go on my profile and then they have to click follow and then they can click message because it's the same button, okay? They can do that. Or most people don't know about this, but like you can go up to the little three dots or whatever and then click send a message, which takes longer and most people don't know about that, right? So the little psychology thing I was doing is I was saying, hey, shoot me a message. So when people did that, they swiped up on profile, they would just follow me and then they'd shoot me a message and shoot me a DM, okay? And that's how I was doing, that's what I was doing to literally gain a thousand followers a day, spending $30 a day on ads, okay? So that's what I was doing. Now we're gonna hop into the screen here um, and get the screen recording software set up real quick and uh, I'll show you guys a little breakdown of that um, so that you guys can kind of replicate that for your own personal brands. Um, so again, just to try and give you guys some value and uh, just a quick plug by the way, subscribe if you haven't already. Now, um, let me set this up. All right guys, so we are currently in um, one of my uh, ad accounts right now and as you guys see, we have four, uh, four different, basically, four different ad sets that I was playing around with for this campaign. So again, I was spending $30 a day now. As you see, I'll name, uh, I named each one of some of the names. So dropshipping, famous entrepreneurs, um, SMS, like social media marketing, and then dropshipping copy, which was a copy of this one. Now, as you guys will see, so they're all inactive right now because um, I was playing around with some of Facebook stuff and Facebook, like, again, Facebook was like being weird about it, but I had this going for around five or four days, I don't really know, but here are the stats, right? So again, um, and basically, with what I was doing, okay, so my cost per result, I was going for link clicks, all right, and again, I'll hop into each actual ad um, in a quick second, but I just want you guys to see the numbers, right, so we were spending $10 every single day, all right, and in total, right, during the lifetime of this, which really wasn't um, too long, 
uh, it was really like four or five days. Uh, we got 6,466 link clicks for this one, 6,700 uh, around that one, and around 7,000 for this one. And as you guys can see, we were only paying um, one or two cents per link click, okay? Now here's the thing too, is, you know, with that, obviously we see this one here for 16 links, that one wasn't running. So that's why I wasn't spending $40 a day because I was testing again. It's all about testing, guys. You gotta test a lot on Facebook. It goes with, you know, with your e-commerce businesses, with your brands, whatever it is. Uh, whatever you do on Facebook, uh, any social media ad platform, paid ad platform, it, it really comes down to testing. Um, but as you can see here, we were getting one link click or one cent link clicks, two cent link clicks here. And then total reach, we had over a million people uh, that we reached and over a million, uh, 100,000 people uh, impression wise. Now, if we hop into one of these, so let's hop into this one, which was the cheapest one, just called dropshipping, okay? So I'll hop into the ad for this one. Now, as you can see, we had the main video going up and then a blooper one just because my brand isn't like super serious. Um, I'm really only serious in like some of these YouTube videos. I'm trying to give you guys value, but um, this one was the main video. Again, I'll have that one playing. Uh, it's like the same one from earlier, but basically that's the one that we were doing. Um, and then as you can see, 7,000 link clicks here. We reached 465,000 people and impressions 500,000. And then again, we spent $75 and had one link click, okay? Now this started again. October 3rd was the last big edit on it. So it was around that time frame, which is which will play a role when I uh, hop into Social Blade in a quick second, okay? Now, we're actually gonna go in here and click edit, just so I can kind of break down um, the actual targeting and whatnot for you guys. Go back to the campaign, or sorry, the ad set. And then we'll hop into the dropshipping one, click edit. Okay, so we're in here now. This is the actual targeting I was using. Um, for this particular ad set. So as you can see locations, I said United States, um, New Zealand, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia. So I was trying to go for more uh, like I, like higher quality traffic, not necessarily like uh, like uh, just other places around the world that may not necessarily like speak English, all this kind of stuff, and more people that would be relevant or interested in my brand. All right, age-wise, I said 14 to 35, gender all, and then language is English. Now, the actual interest and in targeting, right? So, interest, AliExpress, big commerce, DHK, drop shipping, e-com, e-com. So again, this one, I was I was really just hitting a bunch of it. So I was interest stacking, okay? That's like a, a term um, some people use. So basically, that's what I was doing with this, kind of breaking all this kind of stuff down. Uh, I wasn't really excluding anyone out of it, and again, I was only running on stories, so only doing story ads because that's what my actual ad was primed and set up for. I was saying swipe up, shoot me a DM. Um, and then I think actually this was edited though, so I, I really only started with Instagram and I really only did Instagram stories. Um, I think at the last moment before um, I stopped running this, uh, I changed it to Facebook. Now, um, but yeah, scrolling out here to optimization and delivery, guys. So again, we we're charging for link clicks, that, that was our objective um, for the actual ad set. Um, and again, that's the uh, expected rate, 30 to 190. But basically, guys, that's just the time. I just basically wanted to show you guys what was working for me um, and how I was you know, gaining 1,000 plus followers a day. Now, hold up. All right, well, I want to hop in social way, guys, and kind of show you guys the actual, like, day-by-day -day follower growth. Um, you know, this is when I first started YouTube, first started actual branding myself and content and whatnot. But as you can see, it cuts off here on February 3rd. But we were running this ad set in October, guys. But this is what I was using to gain 1,000 followers a day for $30 ad spend. Um, every single day, just testing these different ad sets. Okay, so again, this was called the dropshipping one. As you see, the interest we're targeted, um, you know, with, with with the interest being around dropshipping or e-commerce, right? So if we go to this one, the famous entrepreneur one, uh, we'll click this one, and then you guys can see. So these are just like popular entrepreneurs that I was targeting as well, right? So Gary Vaynerchuk, Grant Cardone, Russell Brunson, um, all these guys, Tim Ferriss, Tony Robbins, like all these guys, okay? And then I did an awesome thing where I was doing like books. Um, just to get people that were really, really, really vested, like they, they, they knew who these entrepreneurs were and they were reading um, some of the stuff that they publicized or just like in conjunction with that. Um, so again, these are just some of the like Think and Grow Rich, um, the 4-Hour Work Week, all this kind of stuff. Um, again, not excluding it, but just they have to also match it, so narrowing it basically, okay? Um, that was basically this ad set. Again, I was, running basically, I was running the same video for all these, okay guys? It was just different interests. Um, and they were again all spending ten dollars a day. Again, location-wise, all the same, age are the same, gender the same, language the same. It was just the actual um, interest, okay? And then for this one, social media marketing, I'll run you guys through that one real quick too. Um, again, everything stays the same up here, okay? And then down here, um, again, social media marketing. So digital marketing, online advertising, social media marketing. It was just those three that I was testing. As you see, that one was a little bit more expensive. I think it was two cents versus one cents with drop shipping. Um, so that's the one that I really, really, really should be focusing on scaling. Um, but again, um, I had some problems with Facebook, so 
I stopped running that after five, six days, but this is just a quick video. Like, I just wanted to break this down and show you guys that, you know, to gain followers on Instagram or to grow your personal brand, you know, on Facebook, Instagram, whatever you're deciding to do, um, it's not, you don't always have to go like the pure organic route because it does take longer. So I was just kind of experienced. I was like, okay, what if I do marketing uh, for myself, for my personal brand to actually try and gain followers? Like, what can I do um, down that sort of avenue? And this is kind of what I got. And I'm excited to show you guys, you know, what I start doing in the future with this. But again, this is just a very quick video that I want to do because I literally have a flight to Bali that I have to go out <laughs> uh, and leave soon for. Um, but that is the video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys use this to apply it to your own personal brand, to your own stores, whatever you're trying to grow. Because um, again, I think this is a really, really, really cheap and efficient way to just get a lot of exposure, get a lot of attention to yourself, to your brands, whatever you're doing, whatever you're promoting, okay guys? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to leave a like, make sure to drop a comment, respond to everybody's comments, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Um, you know, we're out here doing videos, e-commerce, Instagram, branding, um, whatever the deal may be. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, peace.